Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at unit and non-unit fractions. Here is our vocabulary list, which will be used in this tutorial. As with all fractions, unit fractions have a numerator, which is written on the top, and a denominator, which is written on the bottom. The difference between a unit fraction and a non-unit fraction is that a unit fraction has only one as the numerator. A non-unit fraction can have any number as a numerator. This is an example of a unit fraction. This fraction is called one-third, and this is what one-third might look like in a picture. You can see that in this picture I have three parts all together, but if I color in or shade one of the three parts of my picture, I will have shaded in one-third of the picture. In our unit fraction one-third, the, num the numerator, one, tells us how many parts are colored in, and the denominator three tells us how many parts we have all together. Have a look at these three pictures. Can you work out which unit fraction we would need to write it and we would need to write in order to describe the part that is shaded? Have a look at all three pictures and see what you come up with. Pause the video. If you said one half for the first picture, then you are correct. Congratulations. This is what the fraction one half looks like. You can see that in our picture we have two parts, but one is colored in. So the number one is the numerator and the number two is the denominator, making this a unit fraction. In this picture, if you said the unit fraction is one-third, you're also correct. Well done. You can see in the picture there are three parts, but one of the parts is colored in. So that means that the number one is the numerator because it tells us how many parts are shaded. The number three is the denominator because it tells us how many parts we have altogether. Finally, in our last picture, if you said the unit fraction is one-fifth, you are correct again. We have five parts altogether, and one of the pieces is colored in. The unit fraction will look like this. There is the number one as the numerator, and the number five as the denominator. So, a unit fraction is a fraction which always has one as the numerator, and a non-unit fraction is a fraction that has any other number which is bigger than one as the numerator. I hope you found that I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.